This is Colin Dixon with Endscreen Media, and I'm talking to Per Lindgren. And Per is head of marketing over at a company called Net Insight. And uh, many of you may not have heard of Net Insight, and I'll ask Per to introduce their, uh, the company in just a second. But uh, they have an exciting new product which reduces the delay to almost invisible between a stream that might be running on a on an iPad and television, uh, which is one of the biggest problems I think we have in the industry, with particularly with live delivery, um, getting it all synchronized with online and television. So, Per, introduce us real quick to Net Insight, and then let's get talking about uh, true live delivery. Yes, absolutely. Thanks, Colin. Yes, uh, Net Insight has been around for 18 years, and actually, when we started, we predicted that internet will be the future of TV and video. Uh, and that will mean that in the future, which is now, I guess, uh, the, the majority of the traffic in the internet will be video traffic uh, in our networks, and that will require new types of way to, to build your, an architecture network. Um, and, but our focus has, as you mentioned, been on the production and acquisition of, of video to the content production companies and the content owners. And today we, have, we are have roughly 500 customers in over 60 countries. We are involved in, in most of the acquisition from major events like the Olympics and the FIFA. We are doing the major, uh, the majority, I would say, of the, of the big stadiums, for example, in, in North America and Europe, bringing in the content from the stadiums into the production and, uh, and also doing what we now call on-home production, that you don't need to have your production teams on site, you can bring the camera feeds directly back home. Uh, so that's where we're coming from and really using that expertise in, in transporting truly live, truly mission critical video traffic over large scale IP networks really on a global scale. We've now brought into the distribution networks uh, and OTT. So, so you've taken this expertise now and you've applied it to live streams. So uh, tell us, tell us uh, br briefly, what is true live and, and how does it work? Yes, you can say today's uh, OTT delivery platforms or, or CDNs are optimized for on-demand and, and catch-up TV. Uh, and they're great for that, but not so great for live. You have typically a delay of, of 30 seconds when you turn on an app on your tablet or iPhone compared to what you see on your, your normal traditional TV distribution on, on your big screen. And also when you're watching for a while, which typically for, for live with large sports and events that take longer time, uh, after the first half, you can be minutes apart. And also when you're watching together with, with a friend uh, in a bar or you're watching together with someone on a train, you can always also be, you know, tens of seconds, even minutes apart. And that, especially for sports, but also in linear events that can really ruin the experience because someone starts sharing a goal before you have seen it on, on your screen. Yeah, we've all been there. <laughs> yes, exactly. Uh, so that's really where we've seen there's, there's a big opportunity right now. And also, of course, live content. If you look on, on TV, uh, TV industry in, in general, where the big money lies, especially for advertisements, of course, in, is in, in premium live events and live sports. So you have figured out how to synchronize all of those streams um, with this true live approach. Um, so now it's an all software approach, right? Exactly, it's a, it's an all software. In essence, it, it has two main benefits. One is we lower the delay to be in harmony with the primary distribution. So what you see on your tablets, on your iPhones, are in synchronization of, of what you see on your big screen. Uh, and of course, that gives a more harmonized viewing experience when you come home to the to the sofa as well. Uh, as you said, it and the other is that we also make sure that the viewing experience, you know, the whole audience is in sync, depending on watching the big screen, on an iPhone, a tablet, an Android device. They're all you know get the feeds at the same time, so they are synchronized. Um, as I said, it, the the solution is uh, all software. Uh, 
you know, our traditional at the inside uh, are building more network switches or media media service routers, edge and access routers. But this is a, a pure software solution that goes onto COT servers and can sit in a, you know, any type of, of data center. So in essence, we build a virtualized software-based uh, live CDN over the internet. So what in essence you're doing here is it's not not just the it's not the encoding of the video per se it's you take control of all of the streams and make sure all of those streams are in sync so if necessary you know you would delay you would delay the primary uh, the primary stream so that it is all in sync with um, with the other streams that are being supplied right is that correct it's correct. We we take the streams from existing players. We don't we don't you know we don't do our own encoding. We don't change the encoding transcoding. So we would take a stream from existing players. We take that into our ingest point, and and which typically then is on a server, and we distribute that and use a multi you know multicast functionality over the internet. You know, so we don't need an underlying multicast infrastructure. Uh, out to the what called egress servers that can be distributed really on a, on a global scale that all sits on on just normal traditional hot servers. Um, those in turn talks directly to the clients in a CDN fashion. Uh, in the clients, we have a small software called a SDK. Uh, that then talks to the egress server and enables this live delivery, okay. uh, the synchronization at the apps. But we don't change the apps; it's integrated into the existing apps. Got it. Right. So, so you know, this makes it a pretty exciting applications for, uh, um, say, multi-camera angle sports and uh, multi-camera angle events. These, these can all now be synchronized using this approach, right? Yeah, you're right. So any type of multi-screen productions is, is quite possible. It's, it's been there in the past, but it's not been a very nice experience because typically that driver cam or play cam is half a minute or even minutes after you know the, the big screen, your, your first screen. Now we can harmonize that experience. So when the driver, you know, Hamilton gets into the curb and, and he actually turns his steering wheel, you see him turn also on on the big screen, and and that gives, of course, a much nicer experience. Uh, and the same, if there's a big event like Idol, you can have the second screen showing the audience or the jury or backstage, and that's in in synchronization. So it opens up a lot of new opportunities, I think, for for content owners. Sure, sure does. And and when is this available, Per? Actually, we've been working on this now undercover, you can say, for two years. Uh, we've been working very closely with a handful of our, our uh, known media customers. Uh, said we, we have probably 500 media customers already. So we have got a lot of feedback from them. We are already in pilots uh, today. Uh, but commercial rollouts will start first half next year. Oh, that's very exciting. So uh, hope, hopefully you'll come back to us and talk about some of those commercial pilots when they're, when they're up and running. But Per, this is great news. Uh, thanks very much for speaking with us. Thanks, Colin. Pleasure talking to you as always. Thank you. This has been Colin Dixon with Endscreen Media. 